good afternoon. Thank you, Chairman Kesto and members of the committee for this opportunity to testify. As a teacher and a mother, I know that children are the most valuable resource. We are responsible, we have a responsibility to protect our children to the greatest extent that we can. My bill, House Bill 5786, would have the Department of Education prepare and maintain a record regarding the reasons of circumstances surrounding a separation of service for each individual who is employed by the school district, intermediate school district, public school academy, or who is assigned to regularly and continuously work under contract in a public school. The individual may review the record prepared and maintained under the subsection. If an individual disagrees with the accuracy of the contents of the record, he or she may request the correction or removal of the portion of a record they believe is incorrect. If the department and the individual cannot reach an agreement on the contents of the record, the individual may submit a written statement explaining their position and basis for disagreement concerning the record. The written statement then must be kept with the separation of service record. Having a consent, concise history of employment or reasons why someone's employment may have been terminated is another safeguard to ensure that those coming into contact with our children only have the best intentions for them. This record system will help prevent a teacher or any other employee from being able to operate as a repeat offender in multiple schools. I have been working on a sub with feedback we have gotten from various groups in the process and will continue to do so. I am committed to limiting the scope of this bill to only catch the bad actors, as well as keeping employment decisions at the local level. But I think it is important to have the separation of service records kept in a centralized database. 